Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 26th to September 1st, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week. Libra, Libra. What's the energy of Libra, please? Okay, first card we have is the Seven of Swords. We also have the Six of Wands and the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck the star the fool king of pentacles and the ten of wands all right let's see what's going on here okay libra so it kind of looks like you're doing really well here for yourself with the king of pentacles and the full male or female doesn't matter the gender um you're embracing your independence um you're focusing on your future you're focusing on your goals you're paying attention to yourself and you're um focusing on yourself There's some sort of wish that you have with the star card that you're trying to accomplish, that you're trying to achieve or manifest. And you have a lot of like tunnel vision over this specific wish. You know you're going to get there though. I do see a lot of confidence in your energy. Like you believe in yourself. You believe in yourself, you believe in, in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. You know that eventually you're, you're going to get there. Whatever this is for you, you know you're going to get there eventually. You just need to be patient and you just need to like um, keep your eye on the prize and just continue being consistent, continue working hard. You know, continue focusing on yourself and you know that you eventually are going to have your wish come true. You're very confident. Very confident in yourself and in your ability to attract and manifest what you want in your life. Now, someone from your past with the Seven of Swords to the Ten of Wands, someone seems to be watching you or spying on you and they can see you doing really well for yourself. They see you succeeding. They see you being confident in yourself and they see you moving on and not looking back towards the past. And it's really kind of like upsetting them. I feel like this person feels a lot of envy and jealousy. But let me see what else. Let me clarify that. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Spirit. Yeah, I feel like you broke free from a very burdensome relationship or connection that you were a part of with the Fool card. You broke free. What's the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands? Ten of Cups? Yeah, this person sees you um, living your best life and, and heady, heading towards heading towards success, heading towards happiness. The thing is, it's interesting because this person knows that this is what you deserve. They know it. They know very well that this, this beautiful outcome, this beautiful um, happily ever after, this success, they know very well that you are deserving of it. But they're not happy. They're not happy for you. Even though they know you're deserving of it, they're still not happy for you. Not at all. 
What else can you tell me about Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands? Interesting. We have the Nine of Swords. Oh, Lord. This person. Yikes. So the seven to the nine is two, nine minus seven, two. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a denial energy from them. This person has an issue with like living in denial. Mm -hmm. What is this denial about though? Give me a second. Yeah, it's like they want to pretend or or they want to believe that they're not hurt by any of this, you know? That yeah, that's the energy I'm getting from them. It's kind of like I'm not really hurt by all of this, you know. I don't really care, you know. Libra can do whatever they want with their life, you know. It's not it's no sweat off my back. It's no big deal to me. Who cares if Libra is going to be happy and who cares if Libra is living their best life and, you know, feeling good and making progress in their life? You know, I don't care what Libra does with their life. It doesn't affect me. But in reality, with the Nine of Swords, it definitely affects them. They're telling them they're telling themselves that it doesn't affect them. That you being happy without them doesn't affect them but it does it really really does it really really upsets them it's like this person is uh, running away from the truth hiding from the truth avoiding the truth But their consciousness keeps reminding them of, of the truth. Their, their deep consciousness keeps reminding them that they are the one who's losing here. They're, they're on the losing side. They're the loser in this whole situation. But then they're like, no, I'm not the loser here. I'm not losing anything. I'm perfectly fine. But then their, their consciousness reminds them that they are a loser. Or that they are the one who's losing here in this situation. Mm. So this person doesn't take responsibility is what I'm noticing. They have a hard time taking responsibility. Uh, hold on, let me look at your energy a little bit more here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles connected to the Fool. The Magician. Wow. You're manifesting something here. Some of you are manifesting a new relationship. You also could be manifesting a new career or a new job. A new home, a new house, a, a big, it feels like a big life change here for you. You're manifesting a big positive change in your life. Whatever, whatever it might be. Hmm. So it's kind of like you're going up while this person's going down. Yeah, you're elevating while this person's sinking. Interesting. All right. Let's move on to your person's side of the reading now. See what their energy is. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Libra, please, for this week? Let's see. All right, first card we have for your person is the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles again. 
Jeez. Yeah, there's like a lot of abundance connected to you, Libra. Abundance, prosperity, stability. Um, your your finances are improving. Your career is improving. Uh, new opportunities are surrounding you. Do you have like the Midas touch or something? With the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you have the Midas touch. Whatever you touch turns to gold. Yeah. All right. Bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of... Interesting, the Four of Wands... Hmm. Yeah, I definitely get you... Oh, Lord. Look at this Ten of Swords energy. Um, you definitely were hurt by this previous relationship. But you're not letting that hurt and that pain stop you from reaching your greatness, you know? Or you're not letting it stop you from building the life that you know you deserve. It almost feels like this pain that you went through, you're using it as gasoline or fuel. You're using it as fuel to push you towards um, the life that you know you deserve. Yeah, you, you're refusing to, to be um, broken. You're refusing to be broken. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, you're, build, you're building something. You're, what, is, what are you building? You know, we do have the Four of Wands, which could be a house. So some of you are um, saving up. You know, this could also be that you're saving up your money to uh to buy a house or to move to relocate oh, or or for a business some of you might be studying you might be put, pouring a lot of time and, and energy into studying something or practicing something Yeah, you're just um you're just going you're going through a lot of growth and expansion here. It's we we do have a lot of pentacles here, so it's slow. It's slow. You're 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 slowly and steadily um planting seeds and and growing those seeds. And it feels like you are headed towards um, reaping a lot of uh, rewards. And you're going to feel really good about it because you put in the work. You put in the work. You put in the time. You put in the effort, you know. Um, you, this, you earned it. Whatever this is, you, you earned even if it's just like your self-confidence, you know, Re like, yeah, rebuilding your self-confidence, re rebuilding your sense of self-worth. Um, it's a slow, prog slow process, but you're being very consistent and um, you're definitely headed towards accomplishing exactly what you want for yourself. Fully accomplishing it. I feel like spirit wants to tell you to like, you know, stay, stay on this track. You're on the right track and, and, you know, continue doing what you're doing. Because you might not see the full, like the full outcome of it all. You might not be seeing the, the, the rewards yet, but you're going to. Um, sooner than you imagine, you are going to see everything kind of fall into place and um, everything work, everything's going to work in your favor. 
and it's all going to make sense. It's all going to make sense. Hmm. Okay, so Libra, I'm going to stop the reading here. Um, and I'm going to continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real, sorry about the light. What are their true and real intentions with you? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. I'm sorry about the light that sometimes happens, but you know, it, it comes back quickly. But yeah, thank you for watching Libra. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.